I think threshold grading is extremely important to just the whole piece of the community meeting. It sets the tone for the students understanding that we are a welcoming, safe space for them, that we do acknowledge them as a person. When they come on campus, they're being welcomed. Students, I feel like, want to come to our campus. It makes me happy on my day, starting days. Even though it's just greetings, I still appreciate that me and some of my class get a greeting. We have seen a change. Kids are coming in excited. They're coming in happy. They're coming in waiting to choose what threshold greeting that they want to choose. It like puts me in a good mood and a learning mood for me to be like content the entire day. Anybody can do a threshold greeting. Anybody can acknowledge and recognize and let your students know from the second that I'm seeing you. That they feel welcome, that they feel cared for, that they feel that the teachers are making the effort, I think is the greatest impact. The teachers are making threshold greetings that are student friendly. So it's high fives, it's the different handshakes the kids have, it's the dance moves they have. You know your students best, you know what works with them. So I would recommend finding a threshold greeting that's geared towards their age level, something that's developmentally appropriate. I think that each teacher should make it their own because it's more genuine and creates more of an impact with the students and it's more natural to your style of teaching. We have different things that we post up on our door so they have a couple of options. Each person we get to choose which one we want to do and I like hugs. My favorite way to be my teacher is, is doing rock paper scissors because I like competition. She opens the door and greets us and she's like, hi, hello, how was how your morning? And we say like, good morning or hello in a different language. I like to do the um, football because it reminds me of soccer. Threshold greetings is our first, if you want to say, our first check-in with a student because now we have that visual uh, understanding of how that student is that day. Before they even come into the room, whatever they're bringing with them from home, things they've experienced, how they're feeling, if they're sick, I get to identify and pinpoint it immediately. It definitely helps me gauge where they're at, so if someone's coming in hot or something's going on. Our teachers can mostly like check up on us and see how we're doing. For my students, they're just thinking they're saying hello to me in a silly way. But for me, I'm really able to temperature check them before they even come into the classroom. And it's an automatic, well, what is it? It could be something as simple as, I didn't have breakfast. It could be something major, like, you know, maybe a death in the family. I can ask other questions to lead them to the right person. It's almost like a little interview. Even though they get a chance to be identified as an individual coming to the class, they also get a chance to be heard. It is something that anybody can start, that it takes seconds. Um, it could take just a quick meeting with your entire class, or it could just take just starting it. Just being at your threshold that one morning and just deciding that day, that's how I'm gonna greet every single person walking into their classroom. And it's a game changer.